The night before my mother's first uh, cancer operation, we had, uh, we had dinner uh, at a restaurant uh, downtown or in the North Michigan Avenue area, and it, it, was a, I mean, it was a rough dinner. My mother began, couldn't keep her dinner down at one point there at the table. And she said, I, I, I'm not afraid of dying. I just don't want to lose my dignity. Composed herself, I guess we all did, and we walked back. When my mother had been a working girl, there was a, as you may have heard, Chicago can have fierce winters, and she had. There was a route that she could take through some of the hotel lobbies and office buildings downtown to try and keep out of some of the blustery winds, and we took that route. She thought it would be something very nice to to show. We just had the one daughter then, uh, Elise. And we went through the Drake Hotel. The Drake Hotel is still sits there at the corner of North Michigan Avenue. Uh, people refer to it as faded, but it's where the royal family used to stay in Chicago when they came to visit Grand Old Place. And uh, they had apparently a, a splendid ladies' room. And my mother had talked about the fact that often when she had to change from one job to another, she would nip into the uh, to the ladies' room at the Drake Hotel. Now, the Drake was where a lot of Irish immigrants had worked, including her mother, my grandmother, who was the maitre d'est at the Cape Cod Room. And so the Drake had that kind of significance. The royal family stayed there, and the Irish folks were, were working there. And, of course, they would have to use a separate entrance when you're an employee, so it gave my mother particular pleasure to come in through the front lobby and use the ladies' room. So she brought, she said, I want to show Elise the ladies' room here. So my mother's third husband and I sat outside wondering what the hell was going on. And they were in there for like 10 or 15 minutes. And, and when they came out, my wife was blinking back tears. And I said, what went on in there? And she said that uh, now our daughters are, were born in China. They, they are immigrants themselves. They uh, came from orphanages in China. And... The, my wife said that my mother had rubbed the little powders and creams and ointments into Elise's little hands and face and all that sort of thing, and apparently said to her, you know, on what was on her mind might have been just about the last night of her life. And this is why my wife is crying. She said to our daughter, honey, never, never be afraid to go into a classy place. Remember, you deserve it. And my mother said to me in the ICU, you know, I, I said, what did you want to say to her? And she said, well, you know, I, I didn't know if I, would, if I would live to bring her to see the Art Institute. Or we actually wound up taking a cruise together where she showed her a lot in, in Italy and Sicily. But she said, I didn't know. And so I thought the most splendid looking place I could take her was the ladies' room of the Drake Hotel. <laughs> she said, I wanted her to know. I wanted, you know this kid who began life in an orphanage. Never be afraid to go into a classy place, you deserve it. 